On today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to take a look at a neat little way you can play the Nintendo Switch pinball game platforms on your At Games Legends pinball using some pretty nifty little 3D printed accessories available off of Facebook Marketplace. Let's check it out. Now, the seller's name is Michelle Jordan. She's got about 100 positive five-star reviews on Facebook Marketplace. She's doing some 3D printing, some neat little accessories for your Ekim's Legends pinball machine. I went ahead and I ordered some just so I could check these out for playing Nintendo Switch games. I will have links in the video description below so you can place your orders if you're interested in any of these products, so no worries there. Taking a look, this is something extra that they sent me. This is actually a cup holder that will screw into your At Games Legends pinball pinball legs. This is very neat. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the 3D print on this. No concerns, no like real like uh, hard spots or, or cracking or things like that, rough areas. Everything's nice and smooth and shiny. And all you, as you can see there, all you have to do is use some bolts to screw that in. Uh, she does include some additional long, longer bolts that will fit this as well as your pinball legs with the package if you wanted to order one of these. So this was a nice little bonus gift they threw in there. But let's get to the main event. Let's talk about this Nintendo Switch. Now this right here is the Nintendo Switch dock mount, 3D printed and sized perfectly to mount against the side of your At Games Legends pinball machine. Nice little slot for you to put your Nintendo Switch docking station inside of there. And as you can tell by the screw holes, those, those screw holes are printed to measure and line up with the side rails on your Legends Pinball Machine. So install should be nice and easy using the existing screws that come with your At Games Legends Pinball Machine. The quality of the 3D print is very nice. Very nice piece of plastic we got going on here. Definitely doesn't look cheap or inexperienced 3D printing at all. Definitely she knows what she's doing. This looks great. This does retail for $25. Now inside of this bag, we have our Nintendo Switch Joy-Con mounts that are 3D printed and meant exclusively for the At Games Legends pinball machine in order to mount your Joy-Cons to use those for your flipper nudge buttons, navigating the menus, all that kinds of stuff. <coughs> I'm going to show you how to get everything installed. The Joy-Cons for a set of two, this retails for $15. So you're looking at about 40 bucks for all three pieces, which is what you need to get this up and running. And right here's that hardware bag for uh, mounting that cup holder if I wanted to. Now getting all of this set up is a very simple process. What you want to do is grab your screwdriver and unscrew the two middle screws along your side rail. Not the bottom screw, you definitely want to get the two middle screws. That way you can kind of mount this in the middle and everything will line up perfectly. We're just going to reuse the same two screws that we took out of the side rail included with the At Games Legends pinball cabinet. And we're going to go ahead and screw these in. As you can see, it lines up, it's measured, and uh, those holes are cut perfectly so we can get this in. My apologies, my arm got in the way, but as you can see when we're done, everything's mounted and it looks pretty good. As you see, we got plenty of room here to fit our Nintendo Switch dock inside of that slot and no worries about that dock falling uh, off of the cabinet in any way. Everything's going to be held firmly. Now at this point we do need to mount the Joy-Con holders. All you have to do is slide your Joy-Cons into the grooves. Again, everything was 3D printed perfectly. Both of my Joy-Cons went in as if these things were officially sold by Nintendo. All you have to do is remove the screws on the top of the uh, pinball control deck if you have the pinball control deck. If not, it'll still work if you have the normal control deck with the D-pad. Go ahead and get your screw in. And what's nice about these uh, particular mounts have really long sliders, as you can see there. You can kind of mount these as close and as far back as you want. Uh, user comfort, you don't have to mount them the way I do, uh, but it's pretty easy to mount it in a way that uh, is comfortable for you. So for example, this is how I have mine mounted. I noticed that when uh, based upon my height, size of my hands, I can stand in front of the pinball machine comfortably and go ahead and press the buttons like so uh, for playing the Nintendo Switch pinball games. It's a real shame that uh, Nintendo has a, a, a goofy controller system that we can't get the built-in controls to work, but this is a nice workaround. Okay, we got our Joy-Cons and our docking station holder mounted where we want them. Now it's time just to go ahead and get our 
Nintendo Switch docking station placed inside. Yes, mine's pretty dirty. This is the original docking station. I have had this since the day the Nintendo Switch came out. This is one of the docking stations I own. Yes, it's filthy. Don't judge me too harshly. After you plug in the power port for your Nintendo Switch docking station, go ahead and take the HDMI cable that comes out of the docking station and plug that into the AtGames Legends pinball machine. What's really cool now is with through that HDMI, we'll be able to use the speakers, we'll have sound, as well as we'll be able to use the main body display for running the pinball games. At this point, you can go ahead and set your Nintendo Switch inside of the docking station, turn on your Legends Pinball Machine. Once it fires up, go to the settings menu and look for the HDMI settings. You'll notice it just says OTG Main Display 90. Those settings are just fine because remember with the Nintendo Switch, with a lot of the games such as Pinball FX3, you're able to rotate the screen as you see fit. Once you click on OK, it's going to look for an HDMI signal. All you have to do is hold down the Home button on the Joy-Con, which will automatically fire up your Nintendo Switch, and boom, there she is. Now we will have some haptic feedback through the Joy-Cons from playing uh, through the Nintendo Switch. We'll have the main display working as well as the speakers using the uh, At Game speakers. But when it comes to the built-in haptic feedback on the pinball machine or built-in controls, none of that's gonna be compatible because that's just simply not compatible with OTG mode. This mod is more for some inexperienced modders that are looking for a quick plug and play solution to have a pinball experience and enjoy because let's be honest, a lot of the pinball games on the Nintendo Switch run and look fantastic, including Pinball FX3, Zacharia Pinball, etc. Once you fire it up, you'll notice it's upside down, but we can easily navigate to the bottom, hit the A button and rotate the screen. Now we are in portrait mode and the games will launch and run in portrait mode and they'll look really good. If you play a Bally Williams game off Pinball FX3, this is kind of the view you get. It's kind of like you're standing in front of a pinball machine. You can kind of see the DMD there in the back. Obviously you can't get this into a full on full cabinet mode, but that's how it's gonna look. If the screen looks washed out in any way, it's because I have the lights in the room so bright and I am using a camera to capture this footage just pointed at the screen. Obviously in real life, to the naked eye, these games and everything, they look fantastic. They're vibrant, they're rich, they're gorgeous, and they look really good on the At Games Legends Pinball Stock Monitor. If you guys have ever played Nintendo Switch pinball games, you know how good these games look. They look really, really good. And unlike the Williams games, if you decide to play one of these Zen Originals, which, you know, they have tons of them on there, Zen Originals or any of the other ones that are just not Bally Williams games, the games will take up the full screen. They'll look like this, just like if you were running these off of a PC or something of that nature. So as you can see here, you will get full screen and obviously you'll get that DMD in the top left corner and all that kinds of stuff, which you can all, always go into the settings and make adjustments where you see fit on score pop-ups and things like that. In my opinion, if you can get VPX, Future Pinball, and all that stuff up and running on a PC and connect that to your Legends Pinball machine, you're going to have the best experience because you'll be able to use all features of the cabinet, back glass, things like that. But if you're looking for a quick solution, if you're an inexperienced modder, or hey, I just feel like playing my Nintendo Switch on my pinball machine today versus holding it in my hands or playing on a TV, these accessories will help you do that. And that's what, in my opinion, makes them worth, makes them a worthwhile purchase. But as always, I want to hear your feedback, so leave me your honest opinions in the comments below after the video. Everything you need to know is in the video description as well. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, guys, thank you for subscribing.